Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Of course, this is NFL Head Coach 09, a game I've talked about for a long time, a game that many have wanted to see me do a series on. Well, just a couple days ago, I did a live stream playing this game for a few hours, and everybody in the live stream seemed to be having a pretty good time. I wanted to experiment with streaming and then taking that stream and turning it into episodes like this. So if you want to see more of this and you enjoy it, please leave a like and your feedback below. And if you want to be a part of the live streams that'll be making these episodes, subscribe to my main channel, youtube.com slash Mr. Hurricane. Let me know what you think and have a great day, everybody. The world has waited patiently for this day. The day I finally say, we're playing NFL head coach, and we're going to actually do something with it. It's been requested for a very long time, and it's time for me to deliver it here. And we are going to play this as the Miami Dolphins. This is a very weak playbook situation, a very hard difficulty, a very weak roster. And here we go. We're going to make ourselves a brand new head coach today. And take over the Miami Dolphins. We're adding a member to the Jean-Charles family today. Hayden's grandpa. Harley Jean-Charles. That is the head coach of the Miami Dolphins. What kind of personality here do we want to give Harley Jean-Charles? You get a lot of options. You get three in Madden. Okay, so Ally, a loyal and dependable team player that can fit in wherever he goes. Titan, tough as nails, team player whose joy in life comes from crushing the competition. His only joy in life comes from winning, so it's a good thing he's taking over a 1-15 team. Choose skills and special skills to give your coach a competitive advantage. Alright, what do we have here? I don't remember a lot of this stuff. So we have team chemistry. This lowers the chance that players take negative status actions and decreases the chance of older players retiring. How far can you scroll here? Whoa. But it's all like positions. So you have learning development. You have intangibles development. How does that differ? Developing play knowledge. And then developing intangible attributes. Then the other one is physical attributes. Alright. Where should we put some of these points? The cost here, 2,000. We do have 50,000 points to spend. Now, I also have special skills I have to worry about. Increases quarterback's awareness and evasion of defenders. Receiving stats related to catching. I think, obviously, we have to look at developing a quarterback. So I should probably get some of those skills. I don't know who our starter is going to be right away. Our quarterbacks are not very good on this team. So why don't we start out with a couple quarterback packages then. Let's go with uh, an intangible boost here for the quarterback position. And then down here, there's also the play knowledge. So let's buy... First two upgrades go to our quarterbacks. For special skills, quarterbacks, awareness, and evasion of defenders. And then as you go down the skill tree here, they have different skills. So it's not upgrading just the same one. So let's start out with a couple quarterback upgrades. These special skills are a lot more expensive. So I feel like I should probably not go too heavy in this area yet. Defines how good a coach is at calling the plays. That sounds important enough. I bought it. Physical attributes. Let's buy this package to help develop physical skills for wide receivers. Might have to get a couple of those because the receiver situation on this team isn't very good. Offensive line. See, the offensive line here is actually pretty good. So I don't think I'll do a lot of that in the beginning. I don't mind buying one of those packages. But the O-line is the strength of this Dolphins team, actually. Let's buy this package for the defensive backs to work on their intangibles. Let's also get the knowledge development here for wide receivers. I know we're really going to have to work on developing a passing game here. Kickers for clutch game moments. I don't think we're going to have too many clutch kicks for a while. 
I mean, a field goal doesn't do you much good down 20. Why don't we buy this skill here? Receiver Discipline increases receiver stats related to catching. That allows us to go to improved release and then improved catching. Improved QB reads. That's important enough to address right now, but no more special skills. All right, some more skills here. I think we should worry about the physical attributes for our defensive linemen as well. Why don't we go to the next level here with the wide receivers development? I'm not sure how important the intangibles are in this game for certain positions, but we'll also upgrade receiver here. A lot of investment there. And why don't we also go to intangibles for linebacker play? We have 9,000 remaining. Why don't we do the worthwhile adjustments and suggestions on game day? Because you know we're going to be in tough spots. we got to be able to adapt on the fly. Let's also upgrade our team chemistry here. I think I should do a little bit for pretty much all of these. At least one level for the top four. And then I can spend the rest on physical attributes for not running backs. We're actually okay at running back. As much as I want to work on that, you all know. How about we end up with the intangibles for offensive line and now broke. No points left. In career mode, players learn their team's playbook. Choose the default playbook unless you want them to relearn everything. Now, it says our playbook strength is weak. We could just change to another one. Be ahead of the curve, become a spread offense. That's one way to go. What kind of uh, passing game do we want then? I'm okay building like a, a spread offense. Do we run the run and shoot right here? College attack. You can run the wing T in this game? Are you kidding me? The wishbone offense is in this game. <laughs> Come on, how would that even work? The pistol offense would be fun. I'm not sure how well it is uh, designed in this game. The pistol offense was not very uh, developed in this time. Vikings cover two. We're staying as far away from that as possible. I know I want to run probably a zone-oriented defense here. I don't want to be a very blitz-heavy team, at least right now. I think that... It's probably better for us to play a more conservative style defense until we can leverage risk against the better offense. That's the way I look at it. Who wants to run the pistol offense here with the Miami Dolphins? Give me some feedback. Over 700 of you watching this over 10 year old game right now. All right, the pistol offense. If it doesn't work, well, we're probably gonna be a bad team anyway. So that's our offense. And we're going to start things. It'd be fun to go back to the draft and redo it all. But we're going to begin in the NFL preseason. But if you wanted to, you could do a draft. Redo the 2008 draft. But we're going to preseason using current rosters. And here we are, everybody. Harley Jean Charles with a pistol attack offense. The Panthers pass rush uh, defense. We have the Titan personality. If he's not winning, he's not going to be very happy. Time to begin the career. The loading screen is telling me about basically the senior bowl. Oh man, I can't wait to see some of this stuff in action. Because when I've played head coach, I've played head coach. I didn't actually go through a lot of the offseason. I've never seen an offseason in this game. Besides like the draft you do beforehand and whatnot. So, I haven't really seen the fun stuff. i focused on the gameplay which is the weakest part of this game. So I have a 63 approval here to start out here in beautiful Miami, Florida. We have 12 days until week one versus Tampa Bay. I think that's preseason week one because it's July 28th, 2008. Four in the morning. Why am I even awake right now? All right, we have a couple things now on the clipboard to take care of. We have new season goals. What do we have here? Here you can view your current season goals, approval impacts, and the deadline for each goal. 
The goals give you an idea of what you need to do as a head coach to run a successful NFL franchise. So the owner is talking to me here. Uh, we have some goals here. I want us to trade for Bears tight end Desmond Clark. And that would give a uh, GM plus 40. A failure wouldn't really affect it. We have to increase Jake Long's play knowledge to 30% learned or mastered. And that would actually be bad if we failed. And then Samson Satelli's play knowledge. Ronnie Brown. Add 10 new plays before the preseason is over. Health and fatigue. What do we have here? So, this is a list of all players on the team who are banged up or hurt. You can decide to play or sit any player on this screen. Not everybody is 100% despite us being in the middle of summer. Okay, so some players are still recovering then. What's the... Do we have any low fatigue on this team? We sure do. I'm not sure what's making these players fatigue and health so low. Training camp invite. What do we have here? Do I get to invite players to like a tryout? That's exactly what it means! A training camp invite! Street free agents and rookies from all over the country. I love NFL head coach. This is how Adam Thielen... Well, not exactly. That was a rookie mini camp, which is held after the draft. This is training camp. Wow. 38 overall punter, Ronaldo Smiley from Rhode Island. What drills are we going to run today? I'm loving this right now. Choose one game plan from the list below. Improve offense play knowledge. We could train a rookie. Or we could improve our play knowledge of some other ones. The triple option. I don't think we should work on that right now. What have I done? Choosing the pistol offense. That's one thing that makes sense to me, is just, let's choose a general play that has a lot of use. But at quarterback, we have Josh McCown, John Beck, and Aaron Brooks. The veteran Aaron Brooks, the cousin of Mike Vick. We don't have Pat White, but I might want to add a mobile quarterback, seeing as how we do have this pistol scheme I'm trying to run right now. All right, that running back, Ricky Williams. Only a 78 overall in this game. Let's sort by overall. Ronnie Brown is the starter. He's on a big contract, by the way. This is $34 million a salary. Two years left on the deal. Why don't we look at his player card here? Obviously, running backs were given big deals back in the day. Take a look at what Carolina did with Jonathan Stewart and D'Angelo Williams. Doesn't really happen these days. And there's the contract breakdown. Obviously, we're playing with uh, salary caps and numbers from over 10 years ago. So, the cap has risen tremendously since this time. Only cares about the team willing to help in any way. That's what I'm talking about, Ronnie Brown. Look at all the personality traits. He's a problem solver. Average NFL player. I think he's above average. He's not paid like he's average. And, okay, the whole offense for Ronnie is unlearned. So we better work on that. And here's progression. Ted Ginn. Derek Hagan. Ernest Wilford. Tab Perry. Greg Camarillo. So a young Ted Ginn. And you can see here why they want us to address tight end with Desmond Clark. We don't have a, a strong situation there. But where this team is actually... Pretty well set up is the offensive line. It's a really good starting point. I doubt this 91 overall is real, but regardless, I think it could be a lot worse. Matt Roth at defensive end. Jason Taylor is our franchise player here. He's the number one overall player we have. He's a Pro Bowl defensive end. Is in Hawaii in February. Has potential to be great. Has decent athletic ability. Here's the contract breakdown. Might be the final year of his contract as well, so one thing to consider here if we want to make a trade. One of the best ever in the NFL. Tireless work ethic. Average NFL player. Come on. Sick of losing, though. Win more games or he'll start causing problems. Vonnie Holiday, the former Packer. 
Joey Porter, Akin Adel, Channing Crowder, Abraham Wright, Joey Thomas, Will Allen, Jason Allen, Jeremiah Bell, Jay Feely, Brandon Fields, and of course, our picks. We have one pick in each round right now for the next two drafts. We have a practice recap here. So, cover three, what happened? We got 8% learned afterwards. Okay. We have trade negotiations for Kerry Collins now. Why would I want to acquire Kerry Collins? Go away. Is it raining right now? The weather just changed in Miami. We have rainfall here on Monday, July 28th. Now Tuesday the 29th. It's midnight. Coaches don't sleep. The tape is always grinding. What's next? Can we give him an off day? Keep him out. Trainer says let him play. His right leg has 67% fatigue. Rookie deal. Chad Henney. What is this? I know how Chad Henney turns out. So we have to negotiate his rookie deal. So we have some different packages here. Let's get this over with, coach. I have places to be. Excuse me? There are 35 packages here. There are incentives! Incentives in contracts in a football game. I have 30 seconds. I can't handle that kind of pressure. We're going with the first deal here. That's the best I can do. I think he took it. Don't talk about Stefan Diggs. I'm trying to still... Stay positive about him being a Viking. Hey coach, how do you want to run today's practice? So our first practice was all about working on the defense. I think we should find uh, an offensive play now to work on. And we're going to be a better running team than passing, so why don't we prioritize a key run here. The halfback dive out of bunch. We got 10% on that one. Okay, so we learned our first offensive play faster than our first defensive play. Should I trade for Ken Dorsey, the former Hurricane? 26 years old, 76 overall. But that's the same overall in age as John Beck. Another rookie deal here. We have Philip Merling. I don't think I will do an incentivized deal here. For rookies, I'm going to do very small contracts and save incentives for other kinds of deals. Small signing bonus. Nope, how about this offer? We have a counter offer. I offered the worst offer and now he's countering with the best. Yeah, that's not happening. What if I run out of time? No. What if we increase your signing bonus a little bit? That's the best I can do. Yeah, he accepted. There we go. I am winning these negotiations so far. Let's see my approval rating here. So far, I'm like three days into the job. And right now, the players definitely approve of me. The owner, for some reason, is skeptical. I haven't done anything wrong yet. The fans, you need to trust the process here. You went 1-15 last year. You want change or not, I'm here. Let's take a look at our staff status then. I want to see how deep this goes on the hot seat. Excuse me. I just got here. We have an offensive coordinator, Dan Henning. Doing okay. Paul Pascoloni. Doing okay. Special teams coordinator. Todd Bowles, defensive back coach. Wow, they had actual coaches here. This is amazing. We have an injury, by the way. We have a problem here. Josh McCown has a bruised elbow. He's out one to two weeks, and you have 60 seconds to come up with your response. A lot of pressure here. I think we're just going to... I could ignore it. Go to depth chart. Let's see what they're even talking about here. So, I think John Beck is starting right now. Trade negotiation, Mercedes Lewis. 
Young, 24-year-old Mercedes Lewis. Not right now. Is this going to be a long series? If I have fun and everybody enjoys it, it'll be long. It'll up the approval of the GM. Desmond Clark. Why don't we try to make a trade? Got to work on some of this approval rating here. It's just a 63 at tight end. He is 31 years old on a three-year contract. But his salary is very low. And they just got Greg Olson. The Bears are not interested in trading Desmond Clark. What do you want from me, game? My goal is to trade for a player they're not interested in trading. Oh my god, it's showing Steve Slayton. It's showing Xavier Adibi and Aaron Henderson. This is Kane's dream game. I'm having a great time right now. Why did I choose the Dolphins for this? Because A, they're awful. B, I canceled the Dolphins franchise. So it's something for Miami fans. Alright, so 80 speed. Low jumping, low route running. We definitely have to add a tight end at some point. And I still don't know if we have a quarterback to run this scheme. I picked the pistol offense. No. Diggs just tweeted it's time for a new beginning. Maybe Diggs is talking about something else though. Maybe he's getting a new car. I think what Diggs is really excited about is Animal Crossing coming out. We've been, you know, it's been like eight years since the last Animal Crossing game. He's ready to start over a fresh beginning. But the Minneapolis Miracle. All the good moments ever since that game he had the spot start against the Denver Broncos. It is not Treadwell season. Let's do a train rookie one this week. I want to see how that plays. You know what Diggs was probably talking about? He's probably just talking about it's the new year. It's the NFL new year. It's time for a new beginning. I agree. It's a brand new year. Donovan Darius, free agent bid. I'm interested enough to at least see what's here. This is really cool. We're leading. Oh, we're down to two teams. 4.6. Do we go for it? Donovan Darius. I got 34 seconds going twice. I didn't realize it was going to go like that. I thought I had all the time left. Alright, so... Here are the results from our last practice. Make sure to use the filters to check out the health and play knowledge reports. So, we've been working on a number of different plays here. That's good. I was worried about, like, if we were just going one at a time that we'd never get anywhere. But it actually shows which plays we're being the most successful with. These are all like goal line runs though. I don't care about this as much. Oh, Desmond Clark got traded to the Falcons. They wouldn't trade him to us. But they'll trade him to Atlanta. Okay. Okay, cost me a goal. Thanks, Chicago. But we're almost to our first preseason game, everybody. We'll start to see what happens when you hit the gridiron here in NFL head coach. Let's try Super Sim here. I have not really seen this before. So this is our very first preseason game. I'll get a little bit of control, I guess, over some things. So I could actually choose a play here for our simming. And I'm actually, I have a play clock right now. All right, let's try the power option. Run it, no gain. Let's try tight end drag. Sacked. Let's go shotgun. We have two plays. Uh, deep attack. Deflected. Alright. Uh, punt. Kind of cool that you can actually pick, uh, like plays and whatnot for this. Garcia does it again. Joey Galloway, touchdown! Halfback screen. We practice this play. Sacked. Luke Pettigut is hurt. As Brian Greasy threw a touchdown to Warwick Dunn. I'll try one more drive. Halfback draw. Six yards! Counter strong. Eight yards! Power option. Going back to it. Four yard loss. Alright, tight end drag. Deflected. Why can't we complete the passes? Ever. Alright, third and 14. Cross up. Yes! 15 yards! Halfback slam. Penalty on the defense. Accept that. 
Let's ask our coach what he thinks. Have back dive. Third and one. Keep running the football. Three more yards. We're into the red zone now, everybody. Uh, let's go tight end drag. Intercepted! It's showing me the thrown at allowed in interceptions. Wow. John Beck. Five passes in, I'm ready to cut him. John Beck was atrocious today. Two for seven. Aaron Brooks was one for five. Running the football. Eight for 36 for Ronnie Brown. They keep track of blocks defeated, big hits, and hurries? Are you kidding me? Thrown at, catches allowed, and that actually works? And I can see how many yards they allowed? No way! Alright, let's build a play. A passing play. <laughs> what is that throw? Come on, man! I can't start John Beck for a season. Alright, what kind of concept should we do here? Let's build a, a concept. This is going to be... Alright, I got what I want here. We're going to have Gin Motion here. To rate about here. So Gin's going to be on that deep post. But let's say this is a six-man protection. Love to see one of these work where Gin gets open downfield, but it hasn't really happened yet. Linebacker carries him pretty well. That works. Alright, first play we've created there. Motion deep post. Coach, what do you think about this guy? Brandon Seiler. 80 overall, 22 years old. Sure, let's have some fun. I win. We have signed Brandon Seiler. 2.4 million dollars. Your approval rating goes up and down. It just went up. Oh, we got some approval change for our success with the staff. We lost 42 to 7. Josh McCown picked off twice. Man, we can't complete a pass. We ran the ball four times. Where are all the plays? I changed it to 15 minute quarters and we obviously played in a game with 49 points scored. So where are all the plays? They ran the ball like 50 times. What happened? We had 97 yards. Two of nine on third down. Just atrocious. 14 minutes of play time for us. Time of possession. And we'll see how Chad Henney plays I guess. I mean, he doesn't have to do much to impress us at this point. We're looking for, like, 50% completion and no turnovers. I'd be thrilled with that. Let's see this one more time. Just built a simple short pass. And, ooh, that one got jumped, almost picked off. We're two for three, though, running this so far against this look. I like it. They wanted me to add ten plays. That's a start. 33-3. to three. McCown was picked off twice. Henny. He was 4 for 12. We were sacked 8 times in this game. The running average is okay. Ted Ginn, 49 yards. You get more big catches here than in Madden 20, that's for sure. So how crafty can I get then with some of the... Uh, the blitzes. I can do stunts. Now this would be like a, a third down play, so let's try to find a pass that would be maybe what somebody would call on a third down. Yeah, it is getting a little pressure, and it's covering this play really well. I like how this is performing. See, that's, a, that's at least a tight window. Nothing easy. Sad cane blitz. It's not a sad blitz. Alright, let's see what we got here. I wanted to do like a nice little levels concept, but I didn't know what I want to do with uh, the tight end there. So we kind of have a two-man levels look here on the left side. And then the idea of the post is just to kind of occupy the attention of the strong safety and the strong side linebacker. This is called zone run, because it doesn't have enough options for the naming. Can't use numbers. 
That's ridiculous. I think they'll patch it. It's been about three hours of real time. And we're just about done with the preseason, so we're working at a very nice pace today. Hey, coach. We have another game plan run option. Practice? Let's work on that cover three. We're going to master that as our base defense. Let's focus on one of the plays that I built. I had some good ones there. Let's go bunch fade. That looks like a cool play. Maybe a nice shot play. The Miami Dolphins are headed into this weekend's matchup less prepared than their opponent, according to my sources. I'll give the coaches the benefit of the doubt but I've got a feeling that their game plan could come back to haunt them. Oh, come on. You think I've spent three hours in this preseason to not be prepared? I have not overlooked anything. All right, everybody. Preseason's finally coming to an end. And we go 0-4, losing to New Orleans 31-10. Five interceptions, zero quarterback rating for both quarterbacks who played. 0 for 5. 4 for 17. Why is it so hard to complete passes in this game? 18 for 72. Focus on the rushing here. This is where we're going to shine. But man, the receiving is going to be tough this year. I don't even know why it's this bad, but it's atrocious. I can't believe we even had 27 minutes with that. 4 for 22. 5 picks from our quarterbacks. Yes. That's where we're at here with the Miami Dolphins. Preseason promise? Here are we don't my have any promise. For next oh, I have to coach. go for some approval here. So I'm going to lose some right away if I'm honest. And I say we're not going to win very many games. We're certainly not going to win the Super Bowl or a conference title or anything. Everyone wants to know, what are we guaranteeing here as a team that went 0-4 completed like 20 passes all preseason be honest but not too honest i like your approach we're going to finish below 500 that gives us some wiggle room to still be telling the truth so approval takes a little hit there but not as much as if i promised more and failed miserably so the owner is not happy probably slashed season ticket sales by like 13 percent based off that and here we got more progress. I doubt that Chad Henney is actually... Oh, 83 potential, 74 overall. So here as a rookie, Chad Henney has some potential. Does he have the potential to run our pistol offense with 48 speed? Not sure about that. Philip Merling, 77 overall, 83 potential. That's pretty promising. So I guess Chad Henney is going to get a chance. But I don't think he's going to succeed with the chance. Overall, I don't think we have any serious injuries going into the season. We did have a few that were like one to two week injuries for the preseason. Scouting report on the Jets, our rivals. They run the ball 77% of the time. Okay. It's a little overboard if you ask me. All right, final cut day. Got to cut four players. We're not going to carry four quarterbacks. Let's release Aaron Brooks. There is no penalty. I have one tight end. I should probably change that situation. Rob Ninkovich. Had no idea he was with the Dolphins at any point in his career. Young quarterback starts. What do we have here? Chad Henney, current starting quarterback. This veteran gives us the best chance to win now. This kid is the future of our franchise. I think they have those backwards. We're just going to have our fullbacks play tight end. I've accepted what this team is going to be. And you can simulate a lot of it. I just haven't simmed a single thing. Uh-oh. We have a couple goals failed here, everybody. Approval change. It's down to 60. The staff. What is happening? We did not complete a season goal. I don't know what goal we failed, but the entire staff now is not approving of me. How about this one? Okay, here are the goals. We failed to get Samson Satelli's knowledge to 33%. It was merely 25. Same for Ronnie Brown. Had to get the 31. Only got the 25. We have new goals, though. More goals for me to fail. Yeah, win three out of first four games. I'm sure that'll happen. The fans want you to crush the Bills in week eight. We just finished a preseason. Why do you care about the Bills game? 
Come on! How am I supposed to do that? Win rookie of the year with left tackle Jake Long? How am I going to do that? Start throwing him the ball as a second tight end? This is impossible. They've given me an impossible environment to succeed. Boost the abilities of offensive linemen. Somehow we got to get Jake Long to rookie of the year. Draft preview, everybody. We haven't even played a game yet. And we have a draft preview. Give us a sense of the strengths at each position, including sleepers and busts. Alright, I want to know about these quarterbacks. The sleeper is P. Lacey. The overrated player is M. Barnes. So an overrated USC quarterback. It's a three-star strength, so quarterback isn't particularly strong. Receiver should be. Tight end is okay. The offensive line class isn't great, but that's not a need of ours right now. Um, very strong defensive tackle class, so maybe a good chance there. But cornerback doesn't have a star. No stars at all. Cannot wait to get into scouting and all this stuff. Combine workout, senior bowl, personality. We'll pick it up next time, everybody. That is a good start here, though. An NFL head coach 09 with the Miami Dolphins. I think we could have a lot of fun with this series as I learn this mode. And I think a lot of you are excited for this. So definitely leave your feedback. Let me know what you think. And... If you're watching this on the second channel, I'm streaming on the main channel, which should be linked in a card, and that's where you can help impact the series, and then the stream will turn into episodes. That's the plan, anyway. I haven't actually done this before, but that's what my idea is at the moment.